Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever time of day. Maybe some of you are midnight painters, early morning painters. I'm an all day painter, I guess. Uh, I found this little picture of three pillows stacked on top of each other. I think it was in some magazine. I don't know. Whenever I see something interesting that I want to paint, I cut it out. And I thought this stack of three pillows was so beautiful, especially because it has great shadows, great middle tones, and great light tones, the white. So that's what we're going to do today, a little pillow sketching and pillow painting. And maybe I've got sleep on my mind. I don't know. I certainly got enough sleep last night. So let's just start. I don't know what I measured this off to be. My idea is to have it be a little Polaroid painting, but I made it a lot more vertical than a normal Polaroid photo. I just did what I felt like. Listen to that voice inside. Pillows are pretty easy to sketch. I'm going to start with the top one. And it, you know, you don't have to do the exact same. You, your pillows can look however you want them to. And then it kind of has this shaky little line here for the corner and it goes over and the second one starts out here goes about as far as the other one but it seems to be hmm, goes up with a little corner there and there you go and the third one kind of goes in a little more. It might seem like I'm going kind of fast, but the more you sketch, the more you learn to sketch. And before you know it, you'll be able to do it this fast too, but it did not come easily to me at all. All right, three pillows stacked on top of each other. It probably doesn't really look like three pillows, but by the end of our time here, it will. Okay, to start with, the first thing I want to do is paint the background. You can make the background any color you want, but I like this color. And we're going to go light to begin with. So a lot of water to make it lighter. And I'm just going to fill in all of the negative space. Real quick, make sure you have enough water on your paint. I think that might be what some beginners struggle with is not adding enough water. You, your paint should be the consistency of water. It shouldn't be sticky, it shouldn't be thick. It should just be like water. That's why it's called watercolor, imagine that. So that's the first phase. I want that to dry. And um, then we're gonna move on to phase two after I blow dry this. Second phase, let's do the shadows on the bottom side of the pillows. Now I'm gonna add some purple to this because, or some pink to make my own purple. I don't actually believe that it is just a different shade of blue on the bottom part of the pillows. I believe it's a little different. So what we're going to do is make a little line and we're going to skip it every so often. Make a nice corner. And where I skip it, I'm going to drag this color down like this. Maybe up in a couple spots. Up. Let's see. And then I'm going to color the bottom of it, fill that in a little bit, like this. And it looks like it has some wrinkles in it, which is exactly what I wanted. And then let's cause some of those wrinkles to go up a little bit in a couple places, because the top of the pillow is going to be wrinkled as well. I'll make sure I post this photo down in the comment section so you can also refer to it. 
and I do not know what magazine I got it from. I don't know who to credit for taking this photograph, so hopefully all is well. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna skip a little bit, get that corner all cut out nicely, and we're going to go up and down a little bit where some of the wrinkles are. Color that in. Okay, this is actually looking like nap time now, and <laughs> I like it. And then we're gonna do the bottom pillow. It's pretty dark right there, but we can always add more color later. Actually, I think this one gets all filled in, and then we'll add darker spots to that later. This is so quick and easy and fun. I'm gonna dry this. Okay, for those of you wondering, I am still using my favorite paintbrush, a number 10 round Utrecht brand. If you want to know which, which brush this is and where to get it, you can look on my other YouTube videos under the favorite watercolor brushes, and I will have the link to this one in the comments. So what I would do next is the shadows that are on a pillow from the top pillow. So I'm just gonna use some colors that I have left over from a different project that I had here. A little more brown, a brownish black. And I'm gonna make this shadow for sure go right up to that top pillow and then it made this nice arc down there. And a shape kind of like that. If it seems a little dark to you, it is okay. It's gonna dry lighter, so just let that go. Mine seems dark, that's why I said it. The bottom shadow isn't as gray to me, so I'm gonna mix my gray and my blue Whoa, a little dark there. Same thing, I'm gonna go right up to the edge, right here. And this has an interesting little pattern. It's kind of an arc with a couple of wrinkles in it and bends like this. Yeah, does that look like a pillow? It will. It will look like a pillow when we're done. Let's dry this and come back. I'm going to switch to a, uh, a size 6 Utrecht round. I need a smaller point. And I'm going to maybe dip the very tip of my brush in some Payne's Gray and really make this seam come alive in a couple of spots. just by hitting that a little bit. Same here. Just a little. And the bottom one. There, okay. Now, I do believe there are some darker folds of material that we need to add in. So perhaps just look and see where those would be. That's a little dark, so. I'm gonna pull off some of that color. There we go. Seems to be a little darker in certain spots. Again, just refer to the reference photo. It seems to be much darker over there. Yeah, I like it. I would rest on that for sure. Absolutely. A little color around there. You know what I'm not liking is the blue background, so I can tell you right now, I'm gonna be changing the color of that. And it hasn't spoken to me as to what color it's gonna be yet. So we'll have to have some patience here, I guess. Um, I think there's some light 
or some color that goes up here and definitely more here. It's starting to look like a pillow. And here, actually it's a lot darker down here. So I'm gonna really add some color. And now, I'm gonna pull some off. I wanna add that really, really dark line right under there and then blend it. I thought about doing it before when this was wet, but I'm gonna do it now. And I'm just gonna put it right in the crease, dip my brush in some water, pull this down and let the water carry it. I like that, except um, it wasn't dry up here. We will have to go over that again. Ah, always make sure you're not touching anything that's already wet. And then it starts to get dark under this pillow right about here. Just a little fine line of black is what I'm using. I'm gonna rinse out my brush and I'm gonna put that water bead right there and bring that color down until I think it looks right. Now that one looks very good. I need to touch up the other one. But first, I wanna change the color of the background. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I'm gonna dry this and add a new background color. Go back in and touch this up a little bit. There. That is better. I'm using mostly water for this. And I do want to make this one, whoa, not that dark, but hey, now you can watch what I do. <laughs> Just touch it with some water, drag it down. I have a lot of extra work to do because I put too much black on, but that's okay. It is fixable. I'm just going to keep picking up some of that color. I like it when, when watercolor does something I didn't expect it to do because then I get a chance to come up with a creative solution or maybe show you all how to fix it. But now it's starting to look like some pillows. All we need now is the dark shadows underneath, but I can't do that until I change the color of the background. If you don't like the shape of one of your pillows, kind of like I noticed I didn't, um, I don't think I left enough of a corner. So I think what I'm gonna do is use my X-Acto knife. Here it is. And I'm gonna scratch out the corner because I don't know what happened. I think I actually just painted over it. So we're gonna scratch off some of that paint. It works really well on a high quality paper. Uh, just tread lightly, scratch lightly if you have a thinner paper. I just wanna make it look like a point. That's what was bugging me. All right, way better, way better. Maybe a little more of a shadow under here. Okay, that looks good. So I don't associate this light blue color with sleep at all. I'm gonna make a midnight look because I love the contrast of the white with a midnight look. And you all know what my favorite color is. It is Payne's Gray. 
and that is what I'm using. And tell me it already isn't looking better. I mean, the, the white just stands out so beautifully and that's what I wanted. And right about now, I should have my reading glasses on so I can see the detail, but you don't need to watch me struggle to find them. Look at that contrast, that is so beautiful. Can I, is there a way I can take stock in the color Payne's Gray with Windsor and Newton? Because I think it is just beautiful. Who doesn't want to sleep on these pillows in this beautiful midnight sky? I challenge you to say you don't want to take a nap right here. Whether you're tired or not. Beautiful. The cool thing about watercolor is that when you're painting, you can do anything you want. You can change anything. You can make these pillows a different color, the background a different color. You have full ability to do whatever you want. And actually you have full ability anywhere in life to choose for yourself and do what you want. But here, definitely. Now the only problem with this pillow and dark background is now I'm not gonna be able to make that beautiful shadow underneath. But I think that when this dries, I'll be able to take super dark black and make a really pretty shadow under that bottom pillowcase. So stay tuned, I'm gonna dry this. You dry your painting and let's meet up in a minute. And we're back. I am punching my paintbrush into ivory black. Very little water, a lot of extreme color. And I'm gonna start right under here, get really close to the, the bottom pillow. And I'm gonna keep it really dark to about there and maybe lighten it up a little bit as I make this corner. And then it goes here. And then there's a shadow from another pillow, just like this. And I think this is beautiful. I'm gonna punch my brush into the black again and make sure it is definitely really thick at the base of this pillow. And it is. I could add more. I don't want to. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> nap time, everybody. It's nap time. That is so beautiful. Such a such a pretty little painting, basically using just a few shades and it's that easy.